I've made a snowflake for the Winter Doors project and it's a snowflake because nature makes so many beautiful little crystalline structures and every one is completely different. Uh, the process was to develop and um, just make it more interesting as I'm going along, uh, observing how it evolves. There were decisions on which material, thickness, finish, cut. So it was just a, a evolution of, of going through either stainless, carbon steel, and then ending up with aluminium, which is quite a cold material, looks very ice-like anyway. It's very soft, so once it's oxidised, once the uh, material has, has got a certain finish, it tends to stay like that. It doesn't need paint, it doesn't need lacquer to preserve it, it just stays like that. It's a very long time before the oxide layer deteriorates enough that it starts um, rusting or corroding. Well, the plasma cutter uh, I've had for a short time, so it was just fun to have a practice with it and playing with different materials, different cuts, different strength of the uh, uh, electric. So, yeah, and then cleaning it afterwards, uh, getting rid of the dross and spatter which is usually the length of time, so it's spe speedier at cutting, but and you end up having to clean it up more afterwards. The grinder was, yes, it's just a, a cleaner cut. Quicker if you're not grinding pair material, you're just getting rid of the dross. And then once, once you're pruning it back to where you want it to be, and you've got the lines that you've developed, then yeah, you, you eventually come to a point that you finish. And then there's the fine fettling with, with um, files and other sanding materials to, to achieve a lovely, you know, shiny looking material and which represents the snowflake. Wanting to do something new and um, obviously let other people have it, uh, it's up for auction. So you'll be able to bid on it on eBay. All of the money is going to Mind UK. And the eBay link will be on the Winter Doors page. <laughs>